so I did this voice recorder right after I edited the video. So I noticed that there are some parts that really so then again i'd like to remind everyone to turn on the subtitles or the captions because i really can't do anything to remove the grounded parts hi guys welcome back to my channel today we will have the fourth lesson of the ict series which is the storage devices what are storage devices? A computer storage device is any type of hardware that stores data even when the computer's power is off. So that's the basic description of storage devices. In this video, we will be focusing on these storage devices, which is the HDD, the SSD, Fredo Ray controller, and the various removable medias. We will go first with the hard disk drive. So the hard disk drive, it stores medium term storage data, has moving parts, and it furnishes a large amount of data storage for the PC. So the hard disk drive is what you often see inside a system unit of a traditional desktop computer setup. Solid state drive or SSD. It is very similar to the HDD but contains no moving parts and uses integrated circuits to transfer data persistently. So the difference between the HDD and the SSD is that the HDD is most often seen in traditional desktop computers while the solid state drive is most often seen in laptops and notebooks. So if you're going to choose which one you want to use you should probably go for an ssd since ssds are more reliable than hdds because it doesn't have any moving parts and ssds doesn't use much power so that means you'll have a longer battery life because the data access is much more faster than the hdd so let's move on into the raid array controller it is a device used to manage several internal or external hard disks and optionally some peripherals in order to achieve performance or reliability improvement. So that's why it's called a RAID array. So now we will go to the subcategory of storage devices, which are the removable medias. Removable medias are any type of storage devices that can be removed from a computer while the system is running. One of the most common examples of removable media would be the compact disc or CD. This is the most common type of removable media. It is suitable for music and data. So we have the CD-ROM drive and the CD writer. The difference between the CD-ROM drive and the CD writer is that the ROM drive can only read data from the CD while the writer can read and write data. And then now we will go to the digital versatile disc or DVD. It is like a CD but it has 12 times more storage space and is actually more popular for data transferring. This is basically the upgraded version of a CD. Now, not only does it have a ROM drive and a writer, it also has a RAM drive. So the difference between the ROM and the RAM drive is that the RAM drive is used for rapid writing and reading of data from a special type of DVD. Now, the ROM drive and the DVD writer functions just nearly the same as a CD writer and ROM drive, but it is designed for digital versatile disks. And now we will go to the upgraded DVD, which is the Blu-ray disk. It is a high density optical disk format for data and high definition or HD videos. It can store 70 times as much data as a CD. 
We also have the BD Brome Drive and the BD Writer, which is used to read and write data from Blu-ray discs. Floppy disk is an outdated storage device consisting of a thin disk of a flexible magnetic storage medium. It is mainly used today for loading RAID drivers. The IO Mega Zip Drive. It is also an outdated medium capacity removable disk storage system. It was first introduced by IO Mega in 1994. The USB Flash Drive. A flash memory data storage device integrated with a USB or universal serial bus interface. It is small, lightweight, removable, and rewritable. Its capacities vary from hundreds of megabytes to tens of gigabytes. And now we will go to the last one, which is the external hard disk drive. So this is basically almost the same as the hard disk drive, but this one isn't necessarily put inside its unit. It is a device that you plug into a computer port and it allows you to have more storage space to keep your data. Well, that's all for today. This was fairly short, but this is the easiest out of the ICT videos that we've had so far. So, thanks for watching!